Hi everybody, Tooth from Old School Shaving. I hope you are all well. It's time for my Saturday shave. Thank you to my new subscribers and current subscribers for your love and support and for supporting me on my journey and sharing in my experiences. Um, today I'll be using one of my favorite artisans products. It is Boom Usa 2 from uh, grooming department. I just love these products. This is a tallow based soap, lamb tallow, um, very exotic ingredients. This is what the pour looks like. I've just used it for a head shave in the shower with my leaf razor. And uh, without further ado, Let's get ready. I'm in a bit of a rush this morning. Let's do my pre shave. I hope you're all well. Hope your weekend is off to a good start. It is Saturday morning over here. It's the first day of blue skies and sunshine that we've had in a number of days and we are about to head on out we're actually off to the chiropractor sort out my back that's good okay can you see that lovely sheen that's the good stuff okay in the interest of time I've already um, preloaded Librash Librash will be Simpsons Commodore X3 in base badger I've just used it for a dome shape so let's get I'll put a bit of soap in my cup. Now the scent and Usa too. I'll drop the actual scent notes in the profile or in the description box below or in the bottom of the video over here. But it reminds me of days when I used to do something very bad. I used to smoke. And it reminds me of the scent of a freshly opened pack of cigarettes. It's like a tobacco, vetiver, incense type scent. As with all grooming department scents, they are rather exotic. And I quite enjoy um, Mohammed's um, take on these scent profiles. I quite enjoy them. They put me on an olfactory journey and they transport me to another place. Let me get a bit more hydration in here. I add some water in the bottom of my cup and then I paint it in. So Mohammed soaps are a very low density, density larger structure. I quite enjoy them because I don't really need a very voluminous lather for straight razor shave. As much as I enjoy a nice thick, creamy, dense lather, I also enjoy a very well, well hydrated creamy lather. And 
And thank you to um, the gentleman who introduced me to grooming department and also for sponsoring this soap. And this splash, I'll show you the splash. The splash is something else. Okay. So it tastes quite good actually. Let's do a bit of cleaning up. Our razor for today will be Behold Lee Sword. It is a vintage in our Tasuki Kamisori. It is a silent whisker assassin. It was restored and honed by a shark from Dapper Shapes. I love this razor. So we will be mowing, mowing down about 36 hours of beard today. <clears throat> this is the weapon of choice. Kind of warm the blade. This is this razor is I think it's from the 60s. It was nice. It had a plastic blue plastic handle. I have the original papers and box for it. I think it's about a 6 8. Shark says it's 5 8. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it looks more like a 6-8 to me. Okay, let's do this. It's not a very fussy razor. You can hold it whichever way you like. This razor is so smooth, you often forget how deadly sharp it is. It has two sides. Can you see it has a concave side and then the bevel side. This is called the ura, the side with the kanji on it. And this is the omote side. I use both sides. The fact that this razor is so smooth, it's quite eluding in the sense that you need to be mindful of pressure. It will very quickly remind you that it is a sword. A very lovely razor to shave with. Once you get over the fear of this deadly point and heel, it's quite a pleasure to shave with. I love, this is my only kamisori. My dream is to own a, um, an Iwasaki 60mm. That is my grail razor. Okay, let's do this.
It was a very haphazard first pass just to get off the excess and this razor shines in uh, against the grey which I'll demonstrate shortly. This razor does require a very high quality soap to aid with the glide and uh, those who follow my channel you'll know which two artisans I prefer. I'll make no secret about it. We need a bit more soap. Let's do this. Going to straight to the back. The scent is so intoxicating. Okay, let's just do something here. Yeah? Clean off the back. the puck isn't the poor beautiful look it has like a I don't know if you can see it it has like a honeycomb structure in it can you see it I've noticed all um, grooming department soap develop this crystalline structure I think it has to do with the way it it cools down that she okay second pass we're doing well for time 13 minutes in let's wrap this up in 20 here goes, second pass. Chuck did an excellent job holding this razor. I will not attempt doing it myself. I think I'll tackle the chin last, just let it marinate a bit here. Yeah? I 
and not the most elegant shaver, but you have to have a bit of finesse with this razor, which I don't have. This thing is just so efficient. Because the blade is so short, um, the slightest change in, uh, in, in the angle of your wrist has a compounding effect on the angle and pressure. So you have to be very careful with this. But it's something I quite enjoy with this razor. Element of danger. Okay. Let's get some basting on this. Let's do this. Don't think anyone can teach you how to shave with a camisori. I think you just have to figure it out on your own. This is how I do it. If anyone has some recommendations in terms of how I can optimize my technique please let me know see i'm using the concave side here i actually prefer using this side i like the fact that you can use a very very flat angle it's basically just scraping the surface of the skin This razor has a natural edge on it. I stand to be corrected, but I think it was finished on a black arc. I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's do um, fool's pads. Wrap the shave up. That feels so good.
I haven't grown a, a beard in a while, but I had a bit of stubble to mow this morning. And last night I realized that I've gone full on gray in the chin area. Yep, I'm getting older. Or shall we say wiser? See how I handle that tip? As long as you keep it away from the face, you'll be okay. Do some touch-ups and wrap this shave up. It's actually nothing to touch up. Only struggle on this side of the stash. Okay, let's. I think I stabbed myself. Yes, I did. I took the tip of my finger off. This thing is. demands some respect. Okay, I don't think I'll die. Let's rinse and then we'll get. We'll do um, post shape. Just want to stop this bleeding a bit. Let's get this stripped. I stripped it. Hopefully, I can stop it. Come on. Ah, this burns. First, finish the shave. Okay. The star of this set is this. This is a an aftershave. It is. It's quite viscous. Um, the trick with so it contains water. It it's let's to sum it up. It doesn't have alcohol in it. No alcohol. No oil. It's very um, moisturizing. I use about 10 drops of it on your face. You'd only need about five. It's extremely hydrating. And the beauty of this is it projects the scent of this soap very, very well. Okay. Guys, if you love exotic scents, be sure to grab yourself a set of this when they come out again, because they do, I think, more does like seasonal releases. And uh, thank you for joining my shape. If you made it this far, thumbs up to you. Be sure to like and subscribe and share. Thank you. Have a blessed weekend. Namaste.